Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and I have hit up some crazy good sales lately so I wanted to share a bit of a collective haul with you. All of this stuff I purchased on major sale and I feel like I got some really really amazing deals. I picked up a few things from Ulta and from Colourpop and I also hit the outlet mall over the weekend so I visited the cosmetic company store there as well as the Banana Republic and Coach outlets. So I have a couple of style things as well, if you want to call it that. Your girl pretty much only wears t-shirts, so you'll see. Let's start with ColourPop because those things are on top. ColourPop had a little flash sale a week or two ago where select items were 30% off and there were a few things that I'd really been wanting to try, so I snagged four items from ColourPop. I picked up this Brow Boss pencil. I got the shade Dark Brown. This was only $3.50. I feel like that's basically stealing a brow pencil for $3.50. I know I'll use this. I've liked their brow pencils in the past, and you can really just never have too many of these guys laying around. I also picked up this limited edition packaging Birthday Wish Super Shock Shadow. This was also only $3.50. These are typically $5. I mean, if it has hollow packaging, like, I'm, I'm probably gonna need it. I don't know if you've noticed, I am a bit of a Super Shock fanatic, so... When these babies go on sale, I can't resist. The last two things that I ordered from ColourPop during their sale were these two palettes. This smaller palette is the This Is For You highlighting palette. Has three shades in here. I'm really a fan of their pressed powders and their pressed highlighters are gorgeous. I've only swatched this, but I haven't tried it on yet. So since I'm not wearing any highlighter, let's put some of this on and see how it looks. I'm gonna use the small fluff brush from ColourPop and I'm gonna mix the middle and the third shades. I'm just gonna dip into both of these and we'll see how it looks. So this palette was on sale for only $10.50, and then the Fortune palette was on sale for $15.40. I love the ColourPop pressed powder eyeshadows so much, as you probably know if you've watched literally any of my videos. Fortune is the warm toned one. I also have Fame as well, so I'll be doing a video on both of these, the Fame and Fortune palettes. That'll be coming up soon. I think I'm going to do the Soul and Mar palettes first but keep an eye out for that because I will definitely be playing with this one. I think I did pretty well. I didn't go too overboard with the ColourPop sale. It's easy to do that on their website. I got all four items shipped to me for $32.90, so I feel like I got some super sweet deals there. I don't know if you have noticed, but lately Ulta's sales section has been really on point. When I saw the Subculture palette go up for sale, for 50% off the Ulta website. I could not resist. I love the Anastasia palettes. I know that this one got a lot of mixed reviews. At first, I wasn't really that inspired by the color story in here, but lately I've just been really interested in more colorful looks, as you can see. And this palette is just so unique. It's so beautiful. I had to try it for myself. And for 21 bucks, why not? I also ordered this Butter London polish in the shade Bang On. I love the Butter London polishes. I know you've heard me go on and on. They're always in my favorites. This is such a cool color. And then when I unpacked my Ulta box, I realized that these are very, very similar in color. <laughs> Must have just been a blue day. You know, I've been having a blue moment this summer. I love blue nail polish. I think it's just like the 90s girl in me. And this was on sale for only nine bucks. I need to put this on ASAP. The last thing I got from Ulta are these two packs of makeup wipes. These are the Yes to Coconut wipes. I know that makeup wipes aren't the most exciting thing in the world, but I go through tons of them. These were already marked down and then they were buy one get one half off. So I got both of these packs of wipes for $5.39. And there are 30 wipes in each pack. So I got 60 makeup wipes for just over $5 and I love this packaging with the little door that locks closed so that my wipes don't dry out. I know that seems like a silly little thing, but it makes a difference to me. So just let me enjoy it, okay? 
At the time I placed that Ulta order, they were also having a shipping promo. Typically you have to spend $50 on Ulta.com to get free shipping. But the day that I ordered, it was only $25 to get free shipping. So I got all four of those items shipped to me for $37.51. Didn't have to pay shipping. Feeling all too excited about that at this point. So that wraps up all the online order stuff I placed. Now let's look at what I got at the outlet mall. Now in my defense, it was my husband's idea to go to the outlet mall. My husband needed some new shoes and my son needed some new shoes. We all ended up doing a little extra shopping as well. So I can't be blamed. This was not my idea. I picked up a couple of shirts from the Banana Republic factory store. I tend to wear a lot of t-shirts and by a lot I mean I only wear jeans and t-shirts ever. So they get worn out pretty quickly and I have to replace them. So I picked up some new v-necks, of course gray and black. Those are my go-to colors and I got this yellow one. I thought this would be fun for summer and since I've been doing more bright eye looks I thought it would be great with some bright makeup as well. No real need to do a try-on style here. These are literally just cotton v-neck t-shirts. This is also a t-shirt, but this one just has a little bit of different detail. I thought this orange color was really fun. Something a little bit different for me. I don't have any t-shirts in this color and it has this little rolled sleeve. And this had a $29.99 price tag on it. I ended up getting all of these t-shirts for around 10 bucks each. That's some old navy prices and I'm here for it. So that's all I picked up from Banana Republic. I also went to the coach store. Fun fact about me, I actually have a pretty awesome handbag collection. Ever since my son was born, I just kind of stopped carrying all my cute handbags. I've been rocking the diaper bag and then the like mom backpack for way too long. So I'm trying to get back into carrying all my cute handbags and I was on vacation recently and I was carrying this little like pebbled leather coach wristlet in black and that was great for the cruise because I didn't really need to carry that much with me. I didn't have keys and all that stuff. I was just carrying around my room key and my ID and lip gloss and you know, nothing too crazy. But I realized when I got home that I kept carrying that little wristlet and I loved not having a ton of stuff on my shoulder all the time. But I did need something just a little bit larger than the one I'd been carrying. Since now I do need my car keys and stuff like that. I was on the hunt for a larger wristlet and the Coach factory store in the outlet mall I was at is really big and it had a lot of stuff, but so much of the stuff was super boring. I was kind of surprised because I do think of Coach as having a lot of fun and more colorful designs. I know they always have like the plain sort of grandma totes, but this store, there was just, there was a lot of beige, a lot of beige, you know what I'm saying? I had to really hunt for cute, colorful stuff. One of the employees there was so helpful and he actually helped me find the perfect thing. I got the last one in this color, so I'm thrilled. I looked it up online and this is the color Lily. So this is what I got. It's a larger wristlet, it has the double zip on top. So it has two pretty decent sized compartments in here, but it's still something that's small enough that it's pretty easy to just carry around on your wrist. I thought this lavender shade was so, so pretty. I didn't see any other bags in the store I was in in this color. I got such a good deal on this. When I was checking out, I felt like I was stealing this. I paid for it, I had the receipt, trust me. The price tag on here says $175. I paid just under $52 for this thing. <laughs> oh, that's such a good deal. That makes me like this even more. So I'm excited to start carrying this. I just think it's such a pretty fun color. Not too boring, definitely not beige, but it's not so crazy that it's gonna be like, doesn't go with anything. When in doubt, ask the employees because they might help you find this was like hidden in a dusty drawer somewhere this wasn't even on display so if you're having trouble if you're running into a lot of beige ask somebody because you might score a 50 dollar wristlet the very last store that i shopped in on my outlet mall shopping trip was the cosmetic company store if you've never heard of these they're in a lot of outlets and they are awesome they carry tons of high-end brands for makeup, skincare, and fragrance. They have MAC, Too Faced, Estee Lauder, 
Tom Ford. You can find some amazing products on a discount there that you typically can't buy on sale in regular retail stores. I managed to restrain myself because there was so much stuff that I wanted to add into my shopping basket, but I just picked up a couple things and I really scored because I didn't realize that all the MAC stuff was an additional 50% off. I'm glad I didn't know that because if I did, I probably would have just bought twice as much stuff. <laughs> I found some really beautiful things for my MAC limited edition collection. I didn't buy these things to use, I bought them as part of my collection and I'm not really here for your judgment so if you're gonna judge me just take it somewhere else because I'm excited. I found these two lipsticks. This bright orange one is from the Trolls collection and then this really beautiful like painting looking lipstick is from the Chris Chain collection. These were only like seven bucks a piece. And you know what, I'm doing it for the gram because these are gonna look awesome in Instagram pictures. I also found this blush from the Mariah Carey collection. And I was so shocked to see this because Mariah, I felt like at least in the stores near me, the Mariah collection sold out really, really quickly. So I got this beautiful blush. This is You've Got Me Feeling and this was only nine bucks. Look how pretty it is. I was kind of regretting not getting more things from the Mariah collection, so this just jumped right into my shopping basket. Nine dollars, yes please. The cosmetic company store, MAC Display, had a ton of MAC Lip Tensity lipsticks. I love those. That's one of my all-time favorite lipstick formulas I've ever tried, so I started to just feel a little crazy. I picked up this duo that was a Macy's duo. This has a bright fuchsia and then like a toasty warm brown. These are called Ambrosial and Cordovan. These just look so pretty and I can't resist this formula. I paid less than eight bucks for this duo, so score. This was the most shocking thing of all. This is the Lip Tensity lipstick in the shade Doe. I only paid $7.88 for this. I don't know why, this is such a beloved shade. Everybody keeps telling me this is their favorite shade. I love the shade Smoked Almond, but I can't pass up a good nude MAC Lip Tensity lipstick, so Doe for under eight bucks, you know I had to do it. I don't care why it's on sale, I just care that I got one. When everything's said and done, I got all of the items that I showed you in this haul today for under $240. I feel like that's incredible, considering that that coach wristlet alone was retail priced at $175. I love feeling like I got an awesome deal on an awesome product. So if you can't already tell, I am super excited to try out all these things that I talked about today. Let me know what your latest amazing sale item is. Also, leave a comment if you wanna see videos about any of the products that I mentioned today and I will try to make that happen for you. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. That, that is, you're weird. <laughs> super sweet deals there, super sweet. like. Okay, Ashton Kutcher, where's your car? Short coffee break. I needed sh shimshusa. Smells like a sale. In case you're wondering about my makeup, this is the ColourPop Mar palette that I'm wearing on my eyes. And I did film this look. So my next video will probably be on the Soul and Mar palettes. And I will look exactly like this because I just filmed that video. <laughs> <laughs> is there such thing as too much coffee? Probably. But I have not reached that limit yet. <laughs> I can't believe how much I love blue eyeshadow. Where has blue eyeshadow paired with gold and bronze eyeshadow been all my life? I don't know, but I'm making up for lost time now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have good outlet malls near where you live? Do other countries have outlet malls? If you live in another country outside the US, let me know if you guys have outlet malls or something like an outlet mall because I'm curious. Mm. Maybe I should do like a handbag collection video, but then I feel like I would get, I feel like that kind of video would probably get a lot of hate. Don't you? Huh. I mean, makeup videos get a lot of hate, so whatevs. I have a crap load of coach bags. I'm kind of lucky because my stepmom really loves coach bags too, so she always takes my dad shopping in the coach stores and the coach outlets, so 
I get a lot of pretty sweet bags from them too, but I've also purchased a lot and I have a few really cute Kate Spade bags too. Okay, I gotta charge my camera so that I can film another video. Okay, gotta go. Bye. Bye.